Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video we are going to talk about another airdrop claiming. So it is about Iron Fish. So in this video I will show you, uh, they already distributed Iron Fish airdrop to the eligible users. In this video I will show you how you can send this airdrop, airdrop amount to your KuCoin exchange. So they are going to list it on KuCoin. I will show you everything step by step process how to install the mainnet wallet and send those tokens to KuCoin. So before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comments below. So in this video, uh, like target is around 200. So click the like button right away. So let's begin the video, guys. So guys, if you are following my channel, I already posted a couple of videos about Iron Fish. And if you followed and set up the node, you would have received around 7 to 8 Iron Fish tokens. So now they are going to be listed on uh, KuCoin. Right now the listing date is not confirmed, but you can start depositing the fund so that once the listing is started at a high price, you can sell those tokens. So now you can see I have already sent those tokens to KuCoin. I'll show you how you can send those tokens to KuCoin from your mainnet wallet. So let's begin. So first thing, if you are uh, uh, using, uh, if you are not having VPS, I'll show you how you can install this mainnet wallet into your desktop using Linux virtual machine or if you are using VPS also, I'll show these steps also. So first let's begin with the personal computer. If you are using a, you, if you want to install this node or ironfish wallet into your personal computer, you can install open your windows. Just search for uh, Microsoft store. Just open it. Then search for Ubuntu in the search bar. So then you will find multiple options. There you have to select Ubuntu 22.04 and then just click on get. So once you click on get, uh, it will be asked to sign in. So you can click no and click on install and it will automatically start the installation. So it'll, if it shows any pop up, you just cancel it. In the background, it will download and do the installation for you. So now we are installing the Ubuntu virtual machine in your Windows system. Just click on launch and it will launch your Windows Ubuntu and it will ask you to create the user ID. So in case if you are getting any error at this point of time regarding virtualization technology, so you need to restart your computer and load into boot menu and in boot menu you have to enable virtualization in the advanced setting. So if you are not aware, I have already mentioned that settings in my previous KYC video of Ironfish, you can go check out that video. So now here, if it is normal, if it is asking to Unix username, just enter the username. I'm typing crypto Telugu. Just click enter. Then it will ask you to type the password. Type the password. Whatever you are typing in the password field will not be shown, but just type it and click on enter. Retype the password and click on enter. And now you are logged into your Unix. So now the step still here is only for the users who are using Windows. So now in case if you are using Linux or Windows, now from this part, I am showing the steps which will be applicable for both the users. So if you are using VPS, you can log into Putty, log into your IP and to root password and then you continue these steps. So now in both the ways, uh, even if you are using desktop or virtual machine you, uh, VPS, you can follow these steps. So now very simple. So we need to install this through the nodes guru one line code. Just copy this code. This code link uh, will be in the description below or in the comment section pinned below. So just paste it and click on enter. It will start the nodes guru installation page. So here it will ask multiple details. Just en enter one for the installation. Click on enter. And that's all. Installation will start. It will ask you to type the valid name. You create uh, Crypto Telugu and click on enter. Then in case if you are using desktop, it will ask the password creation. Just type the password and enter. In VPS, it won't ask you any password. So just continue. So it will take around 5 to 10 minutes and your node will be installed and will start auto synchronization. So now to check the status. Now you can see install successful. To check the status, we have the iron with status. Just copy this command. Paste it here and click on enter. So once you click on enter, you can see the synchronization status here. It is not synced. So not synced, it will take around 20 to 30 minutes time. So after 30 minutes, again, paste the uh, RNP status command and enter. If it is shown as synchronized here, that means you are good to go. So now after the valid is synced, you can use this import valid uh, option. The RNP import valid command will be in the description below. Just paste that and it will ask you to enter the seed phrase or private key. So which you have stored during the KYC creation and form filling at this point. So you have you are given the address here. So same private keys you have to paste it here and click on enter. So once you do that, it will ask you to create a name for that. I am setting a name as Crypto Telugu for this. You click on enter. Then it will ask you to set it as default. It will show a command on the top. Just copy the command and paste it. It command is nothing but Ironfish Wallet use Crypto Telugu and click on enter. So now we have set the Adro wallet as a primary wallet. So now we are good to go. So now let's go to the KuCoin. Go to the deposit section. Select Iron. Just type for Iron. You will get the token. Just click on Network as Iron Fish. 
and then click on ok memo and address both are mandatory keep that in mind so now you got the address and memo here so now go back to the terminal now let's check whether our address is correct or not so just copy this address command ironfish valid address copy paste and enter and now you see ending with 86 whether it is matching with the dashboard address so if it is matching with the dashboard address you are good to go so now let's start let's start with checking the balance ironfish valid balance command just paste it now you can see my a drop is uh, already arrived into my wallet so 8.064 tokens which is as per exactly as per the dashboard so now we got the tokens on mainnet so now let's send these tokens to kucoin so for that you use this ironfish wallet send command paste it click on enter now you have to enter the amount so i have 8.06 i am leaving the 0.6 for the gases and other activities so i am sending eight tokens just type enter so now you have to give the public address of your kucoin exchange go to the kucoin copy the public address paste it here enter now you have to give the memo so copy the memo from kucoin paste it here enter now the very very important part is here so the fee structure the gas fees limits are not updated properly so you have to select the fourth option enter a custom fees and then click on enter so now it will ask you to enter the fees you want to spend so i am i want to spend around 0 0.01 as a fee so that the transaction will go through quickly so if you want you can use 0 0.001 or maybe 0 0.001 so it's up to you but i am using 0 0.01 and just click on enter transaction will ask the confirmation just type y and enter and it will start initiating and within few seconds your transaction will be sent so now you will get a transaction hash so just copy this url go to your browser and paste the url and you can see the transaction hash. so immediately if you search it will give a 404 error try after five minutes you can see the transaction hash after receiving the transaction and on blockchain go and check in uh, kucoin after 10 minutes in the main wallet just type iron and now you can see my i8 iron tokens have been created to kucoin exchange so that's all guys that's how you claim your airdrop and send your tokens to kucoin exchange so now let's see maybe if uh, once the pro project is listed on kucoin the initial token supply of the project is only 1 million tokens or less than 1 million tokens so you can expect maybe coin value at 10 or 15 dollars or even 20 dollars if the token touches 20 dollars our airdrop value will be around uh, 160 dollars and we have spent around 30 dollars on uh, our vps for uh, two months so that means we have made around 130 dollars profit from this investment so that is a decent decent amount so you can use this 130 dollars for grinding in different airdrops like metamask airdrop zk sync airdrop sync swap airdrop so i already posted videos about that with 100 dollars capital how you can grind them with less fees so you can try out that so now that's all guys that's how you uh, send your tokens to exchange from mainnet iron fish so if you like this video click the like button if you are new to this channel subscribe channel if you have any doubts i'll have you, leave them in the comments below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind